Hello, this is Patrick again from spyfu.com. In the previous video, we talked about how to find unique and profitable keywords for your AdWords campaign by harnessing the power of Keyword Smart Search. In this video, we're going to look at how to target the most relevant keywords for your niche by using keyword operators in Keyword Smart Search. Keyword Smart Search uses many of the same operators Google does in its searches. So, for example, if I'm searching for the keyword fish tacos on Google, I'm going to want to put it in quotes to make sure it's a phrase match, preventing any results that simply deal with fish or simply deal with tacos. This is similar to how Keyword Smart Search operates. But the secret sauce of the tool is that not only do we search for the keyword, but Keyword Smart Search also finds the top domains that have been advertising on that keyword and automatically adds them to your search. So we give you the best results that actually work in a real campaign. To make sure the keyword you're searching for is gaining as much weight as those domains added, sometimes it's best to use the require operator. So if you're looking for something like fish taco recipes, you can type in fish taco recipe to make sure that the word fish taco and the word recipe are somewhere in that article, even if not right next to each other. And if you want to make sure that these recipes don't have the word spicy anywhere in the article, you can type in minus spicy, which is the exclude parameter. That'll eliminate any articles that contain the word spicy in it. It's a really efficient way of searching for targeted things in Google, and also an efficient way of finding targeted keywords in Keyword Smart Search. But these keyword operators don't end there, not by a long shot. Now, before I blow your mind with some keyword operators and their possible uses, I want to show you that right on the Keyword Smart Search page, there's a little link that says, need help? If you ever get lost, you can always refer back to this for quick explanations and examples of everything I'm about to cover. It will also lead you to our in-depth article about all of these operators and how to use them. And also, as a reminder from the last video, you can quickly access almost all of these operators by going to the narrow results section and simply clicking on any of the options. So let's jump into some of these. The asterisk is the wildcard operator. Adding an asterisk is a great way when you want to add prefixes or variations of a certain word. So if I type in the word wrap with an asterisk at the end, I can get words like wrapping bags, wine bottle wraps, recycled candy wrapper. Of course, those keywords are kind of all over the map, so maybe I should add in a site operator to narrow it down a bit. Let's say my company does wrapping paper. So maybe a good site to emulate would be hallmark.com. Let's see what they advertise on when it comes to wraps and wrapping. I'm going to type in plus site colon hallmark.com and blammo. That's more what we're looking for. You can also add in multiple sites to see the overlaps. Pretty neat, right? Let's check out some of these other operators. The tilde symbol means similar. It includes misspellings and similar words. So if I were to type in foreign language, it should give me the same results as the common misspelling foreign language. This is handy if you want to include or filter out misspellings of words, such as career, daiquiri, or leisure, or correct spellings just in improper context, such as mortal combat which is clearly spelled correctly, just not in this context because the game was spelled with a K instead of a C. Not that we're picky about nuances in 90s dork culture. Get over here! Another operator at your disposal is cost per day. This is a solid thing to use if you're trying to find keywords that are the right size for your campaign. For example, if I'm selling car insurance, I probably don't want to just advertise on the word car insurance. It's way too expensive and broad of a term. What I want to do is find something a little bit more niche and a little less pricey. So I'm going to type in plus car insurance cost per day 0 to 100. Now this gives us some interesting results but we're faced with the opposite problem. Keywords that are way too niche. If we advertise on them and create landing pages for them, it might be a huge waste of time and money for 56 cent keywords. So let's change this to cost per day 10 to 100. Meaning I want Keyword Smart Search to find keywords that cost at least $10, but no more than 100 a day. There we go. 
Now we're getting into more of that specialized niche. Adding a number more than zero not only helps eliminate those keywords that we don't have enough information about, the NA keywords, but it also finds keywords that aren't too generalized or too specific. Keywords we can advertise on and write content for confidently. Sometimes you want to find keywords in your market that not a lot of people are already advertising on. Reasonable keywords that people just aren't taking advantage of. For example, if your website specializes in BBQ sauces, some of the keywords related to that have 18 advertisers on them. That's pretty thick competition. But when you add in the advertisers one to two operator, it returns keywords that have fewer domains challenging you for position. The advertiser operator also works really well when used with another operator. For example, the words operator. Okay, let's say I'm running promotions for different hotels and events in Las Vegas. Do you have any idea how many people advertise for things in Vegas? You can find everything in Vegas. And apparently everything stays there, so I'm guessing there's a reasonable pile of stuff that's accumulated over time. That means this search is riddled with stupidly long tail or broad short tail keywords that we don't even want to see. So let's put a cap on both ends. Las Vegas words two to four. This forces the results to show you keywords that are at least two words in length, but no more than four. Now let's add that advertiser operator. Advertisers zero to ten. And just to cut out some of the riffraff, we'll add cost per day ten to one hundred to help eliminate the nickel and dime keywords. And score. A pretty solid list of keywords. A lot of hotels and other locations, which was pretty much what I was looking for. Of course, I can always adjust or completely delete any of these parameters if I want to further broaden or narrow my scope. You can also search by volume, or better put, an estimation of the daily traffic that keyword gets. Let's try it with Las Vegas again. And then just add in plus volume colon 10,000 to 9999999. This basically defines all Las Vegas related keywords that get over 10,000 searches a day. You can also get very specific with your volume searches, so let's dive into this a little bit deeper. First, identify what kind of match you're looking for. Broad match, which will include close variations to that word. Phrase match, which will search for a phrase rather than the individual keywords it's composed of. Or exact match, which searches for the exact term or phrase, cutting out all synonyms or related searches. And then choose whether you want it to be global or local. Local being just US results. So for example, camping gear, broad, global, 1000 to 3700, will filter the results based on the words camping and gear and give you results where there are between 1000 and 3700 broad match searches a day globally. Whereas camping gear exact local 200 to 500 will show you the words based on camping and gear that have between 200 and 500 exact match searches in the US alone. Finally, let's talk about clicks per day. Don't get me wrong, cost per day is a great way of finding right size niche keywords for your campaign. But if you're testing out keywords, it's good to know where you're spreading your investment. Spending $100 on one click isn't as good as spending $100 on 100 clicks. Because it takes at least 20 clicks or conversions, maybe closer to 100, to see what's working. So it's good to find keywords that are already gaining more clicks per day on average. Let's stay in the spirit of the last example by saying my website is for camping enthusiasts. I'm going to type in camping. Now, there are a lot of good looking keywords, but many of them aren't getting a lot of clicks per day. So let's find keywords that are getting at least 10 on average by adding clicks per day, 10, to 9999999. That looks better. Now we know that these keywords are gaining their domains a reasonable amount of clicks per day on average. These are good keywords to build content and microsites around, driving traffic and making conversions. So that's the long and short of using keyword operators and keyword smart search. Again, you can always go back to our cheat sheet by clicking on the Need Help link. Combining these different operators in your search terms will focus your searches to precise keywords that will fit your campaign and make you money. And as always, thanks for watching.